Welcome to another botanical painting video. My name is Laura Watson and in this video I'm going to show you some of the steps that I take using my three-step painting method to paint this morning glory. Morning Glory is the September birth flower, and this is part of my 12 birth flowers painting series, which I'm making a video class for each flower. And this is my reference photo that I took while I was out on a walk. And I've taken inspiration from that photo to create my drawing, and I've transferred it onto my 140 pound cold pressed fluid brand watercolor paper. I lightened up my pencil lines and now I'm starting to paint. I'm using some round sable brushes, double zero, number two, and four, and a little bit of a number six. Right now I'm using a nice soft gray mix, and I've mixed up a warmer and a cooler version to map in the flower petals. Sometimes people think painting white flowers on white paper can be tricky, but once you master a few steps and how to mix up the shadow colors, it's not too hard. During step one of my three-step painting method, I map in all the basic shapes of the flowers and the painting. So I'm getting all the leaves and the flower petals mapped in using wet on dry with really watery but milky concentrated paint colors. I get all of those shapes mapped in. So then I can start adding step two and three. And step two is when I map in the veins and the contour lines and I use a drier paint mix for this and then I switch back to a nice milky concentrated paint color to add more detail and um, contrast with darker color like I am here to make the center of the flower look like a trumpet shape. Now I just want to take a quick moment to invite you to my fall watercolor workshop on Zoom. You can join in on the fun if you're anywhere in the world as long as you have an internet connection. It'll be Saturday, October 29th, 11 a.m. Pacific time. You can sign up online in the link in the video description below and it's completely free. Now back to the morning glory, I'm adding in some more contrast here. So I'm working on step three on the flower and step two on the leaves. So step two for the leaves, I am using my double zero brush with some barely wet paint and mapping in some nice delicate veins and making sure that I make them irregularly shaped and following the curve of the leaf to really um, create more shape and a three-dimensional look rather than two dimension. Now I'm using a bigger brush and adding in step three, so wet on dry and blending it out like a bunch of mini graded washes. And this is creating a lot more interest in making the painting look more finished. I decided I needed to darken some of the veins on the bottom leaf here. So I'm just going over them again after I've completed step three, just to make more contrast. Now I'm finishing up the flower doing the same thing with my little graded washes with my smaller brush so that I leave lots of step two and one showing through. And that's it. This is my Morning Glory painting, which was the September full length lesson for my membership site, The Watercolor Garden which will be launching soon to the public near the end of this year. So stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, I would love it if you can join me for the Fall Leaves Watercolor Workshop. Again, anyone is welcome to sign up anywhere in the world. The link is in the description below. The workshop is completely free and I'd love to see you there.